Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yemi and I am still ex experimenting with Illustrator. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm just going to do a pretty simple design. It's in my head. I put it I saw it somewhere on Pinterest. So at this point, I'm trying to recreate stuff that I find on Pinterest similar in a similar way or in a different way. I don't really know how to recreate this stuff. So it's just me seeing something I'm trying to recreate in Illustrator. So today it would be a pretty straightforward design starting with a new file and i'm using hmm tone between these two i think i'll go for this one so i use this size to kind of represent um eight by ten because it's going to be 300 ppi wait just realized that's ppi i thought it was dpi is that a way to change i don't even know anyway i'm going to go with this one okay and oh, something like that so it's 2400 by 3000 and that kind of represents 8 by 10 so if i was going to print on 8 by 10 and you know frame this it would be in like an 8 by 10 frame so yeah so this 8 by 10 we have the school workspace and i can zoom out and zoom in i think i'll zoom out for now just to get a feel of what i'm trying to do colors wise i'm using basic colors so this colors here red yellow green maybe not the shade of green maybe a different shade of green but i think i'll go in later i'm going to use these colors but red uh yellow green and uh blue right yeah those four so this is just restyling a bunch of things that i have seen i'm going to grab my square shape i'm going to zoom in a bit just so that i can properly see what I'm doing and you can see what I'm doing as well. I'm going to draw a, a rectangle actually. It's not a square. <laughs> a rectangle and yeah, I think the size is fine. I think I can mess with sizes later. And I'm also going to uh do I want the outlines or not? I'm not sure but I think I didn't want the outlines. So let's do it without the outlines because I think that should make sense. Anyway, this is a rectangle. There is no special uh dimensions for this is just basically me freestyling so now that i have that i'm going to grab um let's see what shade do i want to grab i'm going to duplicate this and make like four um copies of it so with my old key i use windows by the way so okay because it's white it's not really helping so let's make it hmm what color Let's start with red. It's always very easy. When this is not love, by the way. So yeah. It should always be a season of love to be honest, but whatever. <laughs> I make this one red as well. I'm trying to these are copies I'm trying to make anyway. What I want is basically to have like a copy of this one of this thing just somewhere in case I need it later. Okay? That's really why I like to have copies, but it's okay. This I've made a copy of this. We're going to work with these two for now. So what's going to happen now is that I'm going to double click, hold my shift key, double click, and then what I'm going to do is since I've selected those two, I'm going to bring this stuff down, right? And for for this one, I just want to do that to this point. So just going to select that point and do this, right? Cool. Okay, we're going somewhere with this. Now I'm feeling like I do not need this guy because I just need to actually duplicate this one. So I'm going to do my old key. Right. Cool stuff. What I'm going to do next is transform. I'm going to transform and I'm going to uh, reflect. No, not reflect. I think that's not what I want to do. I want to make it horizontal. So rotate. And I'll be rotating by, I think, 90 is what I want to do. Every time I, I mess, I get you know confused about this thing yeah this is pretty much kind of where i'm going now i'm going to reflect so transform again and reflect and this it will be like a yeah so vertical reflection and that's cool so i have to see that kind of looks like this okay like we we'll just try and align them my smart guys are on so they help with that so i have my else i'm trying to make love okay no jesus i just write letters we love letters of love oh god it gets worse 
Okay, so this is L anyway. Anyway, I'm going to grab this first so that I can select these two. And then I grab the shape builder and I just kind of, you can see, highlights everything down like, oh, this is what you want to merge. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to draw through and yeah, we have L. Good stuff. So now I'm going to grab my oops or so I have this guy. I'm going to actually make a copy of this one. So old and like this. This would represent V. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to rotate and I'll rotate by 45, I think. I should do what I want. Does that work? Fantastic. So L O V and the last letter is E. What do we do to get E? So we already have the base here that can help us start off. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to alt and a copy. Cool. Let's move there so you can see what I'm saying. <laughs> so alt and a copy. And I'm going to basically do uh, a reflection. So it's funny how this thing just comes to my head on the go because this is not how I thought I was going to do when I first saw it, but now I'm just doing random stuff. Cool stuff. Okay. So I'm going to reflect, I think, and I'm going to reflect horizontally and I'm going to make a copy. Exactly. So, uh, what's the code? The E is starting to get, you know, some shape. So one more thing is maybe another copy because, you know, I want to just be lazy. <laughs> I don't want to have to recreate anything. So I'm going to make another copy, right? And I'm just going to find a way to push it in. Since I can just adjust, I just move that down to form that one and I can just adjust this. And you know what? Let me see what my shape builder is going to make out of this. I, I can't guarantee that I really know what I want, but I can just give it a shot. So I'm going to select all three, grab my shape builder. I mean, this tool is going to be so used in my hands. Anyway, what the next thing I can do is actually select this. I think the will get me what I want, and that's under our pop finder. So if I select everything, uh, I can click this. I think it's all selected right now, so I can click the right. Okay. And if I click on divide, I can click on all this, I think. So when you do that, you can grab just that one element and delete. Fantastic. The next thing I can do is pretty much go back and put everything back together. So like everything again. And hmm, you need to be careful of merge because merge does things that I don't ask it to. Okay, so I have the four letters can zoom in so you can see. My four letters can get this guy out of the way so we can start to play around with stuff. So let's play around. You know what? Before I do that, just because I know that mistakes will happen, I'm going to make copies of all four and just throw them out there because I do not want to be ashamed. I'm going to grab my old key and just make a copy out there. Good. So yeah, I have spare in case there's any I run into problems. I think this is the right tool. This is why I make coffees, really, because I don't want to see shade. Like, I don't want to be confused. I want things to work out nice. Um, yeah. So, right now, all I'm doing is basically just playing with all the anchor points, or creating, actually, because I'm creating some. Uh -oh. I'm creating some, and then just playing around with what I have. Just playing around with it till I feel like I'm you know, somewhere that I like to be. I am using the curvature tool, by the way, because I think that would be what I want. So this one looks a bit wonky, I'm going to adjust that. And this one too, yeah. And this is just fine the way I want it, so that's okay. And this one is just, yeah, I want that little squishy, squishy thing going on there. Okay. Okay, so for this one, it's going to be an anchor from play, but basically just 
yeah almost like it has eyes in it sort of sort of sort of okay yeah i think this is almost where i'm going We need to move on to this guy. Let's mess around. Honestly, I feel like I should have just grabbed this and just put it back there and just do the thing, same thing I did before. But since that's not the case, we're just going to grab the pencil again and hope for the best. I think how I did it is it's playful enough. I just wish it was a, a little, you know, as small as this one, but this is okay. It looks dicey, and that's so much as I don't want to keep overthinking it because that's not good for me. So, same vibe. Hmm, this looks like a complicated one because it has so many parts to it. Yeah, I think I like where we're at. Um, let's, you know, zoom it in to here. So, so I was going to use red, yellow, green, blue. Oh gosh, I'll start with, let's start with red, of course. So, I should just keep the hot thing as red. Am I going to make this one blue? I don't know if I really care about shade. And maybe this one would be, uh, hmm. I feel like making this one green. Well, let's make this one. So it's red, yellow. Okay, this is yellow then. Uh, this would be green. I need these guys to be somewhat smooth. This one is not. It's not being smooth. So okay, I'm just gonna just make this. I definitely need a background but before I do the background because I feel like every time I do that background thing it just starts moving left right front back moving to places that don't want it to be there should be a way to like increase the smoothness of these guys so that they look the way I want them to look I think I'm shading effect object uh shape 
Oh, oh, I see. see. Okay, so now I can. Do I increase it? I don't even know. Like, how do I know what I'm doing? What's this? That's too smooth. Okay, what does that do? Hmm. Do I like the results? Let's see. Okay, I don't mind it. I do not mind it. I think the same thing. Okay, so I have these four letters and I'm going to also create, say, let's, let's make this have some, uh, let's add some character to it. For characters, you can add anything that you like. It could be flowers, could be sparkles. For me, it was just random circles on each of the letters. I adjusted the circles or ellipses with the anchor points to the coverture tool. That's pretty much it. After creating the circles, I went into the properties section of the circles and I tried to play with the opacity. I also tried to adjust the blend modes like I would do in Photoshop but I wasn't really impressed with any of the blend modes that I saw. So I just left that and focused on the opacity. I reduced most of them just to kind of give this feather effect that you get in Photoshop when you uh, feather an object or feather a shape or something like that. That's what I was trying to do here. but. I had to just manage what I saw. I probably have to explore these tools more to figure out what would give me the effect that I want. But this was just okay. You could also, you know, use sparkles or other kinds of shapes to add some character to these letters. I think I'll probably go back and do some edits. But for this, for the purpose of this video, this is pretty much where I'm going to stop with that. So still on the circles because I was so passionate about them, I decided to go into the filter section. I chose the blur and I picked the Gaussian blur and then I selected 50 something, 56 or thereabout. And it kind of made them sort of feathered and I like the effect. Nice one. After doing that, next thing I did was select all the four objects, move them to where I wanted them to be or to where I wanted them to be. After shifting them around a bit, I felt they were okay. I selected all four and grouped them so they're not moving around. So next thing I did was change my background or draw my background and center back and change the color so that you can see all the four letters. I couldn't use this yellow window, I loved it so much. You wouldn't be able to see every letter if I used it. So zoomed out, this is what the shape or <laughs> this is what the design looks like. Uh, I was trying to do some extra or add some extra, I don't know, razzle dazzle or whatever to it. But eventually I realized that it wasn't really making sense to me. So I took them out and I, I think I applied a little Gaussian blur to one of them because I felt like it wasn't blurry enough. So after doing that, I pretty much wrapped up the design. You can save this, I don't know, as an AI file or a PDF file, depending on what you intend to do with it. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you do, if you do like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. And you can leave your suggestions on what you want me to try next. I hope you have a good rest of your day after watching this. See you guys in another video. Bye.